Oh boy, I love me some mining. I could just mine all day long. What the heck? What is this? What is it? Ow, ow, hurtful, 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 hurtful. What, what, I don't like this. I don't like this, I don't like this. I don't like this. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out, let me out. What the heck? Oh my god, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Oh my god, what the heck is going on? Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Zach, and today I'm going to be doing another mod review. And this mod is the, as you can tell by the intro, Deadly World mod, or something like that. And it basically makes your world extremely deadly and has a whole level of difficulty to it you've never, ever known, ever, in the history of the world. And um, this is going to be a weird one to review since there are many different parts of it. And uh, I actually got to go find those things since I can't really spawn them. So let's get right into it because this is going to be a pretty um, messy mod. So first off, there are 10 things that this mod adds. Mob spawners, silverfish nests, landmines, potion, potion traps, towers, lava veins, spawner veins, silverfish veins, chests, and bosses. And I'm going to try and find everything for you to show you exactly what the heck happens during everything. So let's go. Um, currently, this is the first thing that I found, and this is a tower. Towers basically spawn on um, this mossy cobble, and they ha just have a spawner, but it doesn't spawn any mobs. All it does is shoot arrows out um, in every direction, and occasionally there will be a tower that has um, fire arrows, which is what you saw in the intro, which is somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, so that was somewhere. Uh, but these towers, they spawn randomly. Everything here spawns randomly. Like, there's not really any specific places. Um, there are places where they spawn, like, more prominently, or, uh, like, around level 32 or something for some things, but it, it all depends. So this is the tower. Um, it's extremely deadly, but maybe if you just build your way up to it, you can disable it. So, uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to cut between things when I find them, and I will show you those. So, see you at the next thing. Alright guys, and here we have a new thing, and this is a boss. And the bosses are basically mobs that spawn with names over them. And I will go ahead and kill him real quick, just to show you. Um, they're not that much different uh, than normal things. I'll go ahead and read what the forum post says. Bosses are really strong mobs that you may find below layer 42, so it does have a specific um, range. They have randomly generated names and are much stronger than normal mobs, having four times as much health by default. In addition, they have a higher chance to be equipped with weapons and armor, as you can see by this guy, and uh, unique pieces of equipment named after the boss, as shown below. Um, so when I kill him, I will go ahead and show you that. So they drop their own unique equipment, and usually with very well enchanted effects, but his bow doesn't, oh yeah, his bow's enchanted. Alright, and so they do not respawn or despawn, so they're only generated with the world, so when you kill them, they are gone. So be sure to treasure this guy, because he's not coming back. So just go ahead and kill him. Uh, as you can see, he's already taken a lot longer to kill. And there we go. And he doesn't really drop anything else other than his thing, so we have... Hobblewolfen's Composite Bow of Lava. It has Flame 1 and Power 4. This thing is insane. It has a crazy powerful bow. And uh, bosses, they're definitely something you want to kill when you see them, or you want to keep them because they have a cool name. Just because they have uh, really awesome items. So, that's a really cool addition to the game. I, I didn't think that was going to be that cool, but it is. So I'll see you at the next thing. Alright guys, I found the next thing. And right here, this would be a Potion Spawner. Um, potion trap to be more precise and basically what the potion trap trap does is um, it's a lot like a landmine which I have yet to find um, but they're found on the floors of caves at any depth but they're more common near the bottom and oh um, never mind <laughs> I was reading the wrong thing okay um, except they shoot splash damage instead of TNT which is basically like a landmine as you can see right there when you get close to it, it shoots up a potion, which has its splash damage. And there are 
um, three different kinds. There's harm, poison, and daze. Harm and poison are to just damage, and daze, it'll cover you with uh, different nasty effects, which um, hinder your abilities to walk and live. So as you can see here, um, I believe this is just a damage one. I will go ahead and switch into game mode zero, so I can show you the damage that it does. So if you're not careful, it's uh, not bad, but um, you definitely don't want to be anywhere near this thing. It's it, it, it hurts. So that's the potion trap, and I will show you at the next thing. Alright guys, um, I stumbled upon a lava vein, and this is actually a really um, annoying addition to the thing. Um, you know how you're always mining and you find lava and it just screws you over? Well, this is a lava vein, and it can also be a pocket or whatever. And they're just like an ore vein, except they're lava, and they spawn in walls and roofs of caves. And um, they only spawn at or below level 32, and they're twice as common as gold. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's extremely annoying. As you can see, it's only in this little confined spot, but uh, that's the beauty of it. It stays hidden because it's, it's nice and small, and uh, it'll screw you over if you ever come across it. So that, I'm on fire. Ah, oh, burning, 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 is the lava vein. All right, here we have probably the most basic addition to the um, mod, and that is just mob spawners. The difference is they don't spawn in dungeons, they just spawn out randomly. And um, this is also, uh, it has a little, uh, okay, let me speak. <laughs> they have a chance to be um, armored, which is covered in obsidian or have a chest. And um, they can also be trick spawners, which means it's like a, a harmless thing and uh, just to fool you, but whatever. Now there's a 1% chance of being a creeper spawner, which you can disable, and um, you actually saw that in the intro, that was pretty lucky of me to find that. So this is a mob spawner, fairly basic, and oh, I just destroyed your home. He looks so sad. Okay, see you at the next thing. Here we are at the site of a TNT spawner that um, I just happened to stumble across, and it sucks because I'm probably not going to find another one. So I'll just show you uh, exactly where it was. It just blew up and read the description of it. And um, it's actually called a landmine. Sorry, I, but <laughs> I screwed the name up. Wow, okay. Um, it's a landmine and it's basically the same as a potion trap except it shoots up uh, live TNT and explodes, killing both itself and you. So um, you can destroy them if you get close, um, if you're careful. But usually, if you get even close to them, you don't have to step on them, they will blow you up. So, that's definitely a cool little addition and something to make you watch out for. Alright, well I think I found a silverfish vein as I was digging. Let's, let's check it out. Um, come on. Come on. Dang, I thought... Was that one? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I found one. <laughs> this kind of sucks since there's gravel over it. Um, but silverfish veins are basically... Let me find the description. I like to read from it. They're veins of silverfish blocks, which look exactly like stone. Um, you can't tell where it is. Like, you can't see, obviously, because that's what I'm trying to look for. And I, there's obviously no difference. Um, the only difference is that they spawn silverfish. And... Um, they can generate anywhere coal does, so they're as um, common as coal, or but it isn't as common, um, but it can spawn in the same places. And the, the veins are usually a lot bigger than coal, too, as you can see by digging. You see all these spawning? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I'm digging you up, but um, you can see all of them spawning. So this is actually really cool and pretty annoying if you are trying to mine and you just come across these guys because they hurt if you're not on creative mode. And they dig back into the ground. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, and I'll see you at the next thing. I found me some diamonds. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. Digging these up. But I found diamonds. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to show that. It's pretty cool. More diamonds. Dang, I am on a roll. Alright, I found me another boss man. Sammy the Sage. 
And uh, Sammy the Sage, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to die for me now. Look at him, he's got a chain helmet and a li his little sword, man. He is decked out! Sammy the Sage, I can't see you. You're getting into darkness. I need to kill you, Sammy the Sage. Smite 4, Fire Aspect 2, and Looting 3. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane, Sammy the Sage. You are one crazy son of a nugget. Alright, see you at the next day. Shh. Be very, very quiet. I just found, I think, a TNT or a landmine. I keep calling it a TNT spawn. Dang it! I found a landmine. And there's a chest on top of it. So I have to go very, very slowly. Is that a TNT spawn in a landmine? I can't, I can't speak. I think that's a landmine down there. All right, I got a, quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna run up and take it. <gasps> oh gosh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Dang, that's close. Yeah, so that was a landmine. Um, I'll show you this one down here because this is actually a really good render. Holy, it just spawned three. And there's a skeleton spawner hidden in there. <laughs> that's cool. Oh my goodness, another one. Jeez, I'm not safe. I need to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right, this is awesome. All right, um, you see this cobblestone? Well, a thing, and there's a freaking silverfish. You'll see some of him more in a second. But um, a thing to know is that this mod overrides um, normal mob, mob spawners, like the rooms. So I'm just telling you that. But um, these cobblestone things, let me put everything out of here, are actually uh, silverfish spawners. And what you do is they're surrounded by cobblestone, so you go in here, boom, there's some silverfish in here. Um, so they're pretty annoying, don't really do much, but uh, they spawn like crazy. The cool thing about this is that underneath the spawners, there's a chant, or there's um, a chance, let me see if there's a certain kind of ore that they give. Um, here we go. Oh, they're surrounded by silverfish blocks. Alright, so that's why they spawn so fast. Um, you can find things useful inside of here, so it doesn't really say exactly what's going to be in here. But uh, here is lapis, another one I found quite a while ago, it was gold. So um, it's a pretty cool little thing. If you can find it, you will find some pretty freaking sweet stuff in here. But just one block kind of sucks. So get out of here. And uh, I think that is everything. Um, yeah, that is everything. Let's get out of here. Oh, God. Okay, let's fly. Let's fly. That was beautiful. Okay, what is this? Potion spawner? Yeah, I already saw you. Right, let's go. Wrong way. <laughs> I can't go up to get down up. Sideways. Okay, I'm out. So, I hope you enjoyed this mod review. Um, it is a pretty amazing mod. Had a lot of things to cover. I'm sorry I couldn't go too in-depth with everything, but um, I hope I was able to explain everything pretty swell. So... Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. That will really help me a lot. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to join the people to be up to date for uploading a video similar to this one. Uh, I have a link down in the description for the mod if you want to go download this. I highly recommend it. Um, it's kind of a passive thing. You don't really have to do it um, or like keep up with it. But uh, it does make um, cave exploring a lot more interesting, fun, and also rewarding. Remember, it has some of those reward things in there. So, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Feel free to go down the mod and everything and leave a rating and everything. Okay. Uh, that's it. Come on. I'm gonna hop a wolf for a bed. I'm gonna get food hardcore. And I can die. Where the heck are you going? Come here! Come here! Alright, that wasn't worth it.